So today, I'll be demonstrating the plate interactions between boundaries. So demo one, first I'll be showing you the divergent boundary. I'm spreading peanut butter to represent the asthenosphere. I guess about like that. Oop. And I'm just gonna keep on spreading. Ooh. Just like that. Uh oh. Let's spread more here. That's actually good get enough. And then I have Fruit Loops representing the oceanic crust right here. It's gonna place them just like right about like this, right? Uh, actually, like this, I can make more or better. I'm gonna place them down here. And then I'm gonna place it right about here. All right, so as I push down and out on both oceanic crust, just like so, it created an oceanic rift. So we're gonna, keep it up. so that's how it's gonna look like. It's gonna have a little rift. That's the asthenosphere right here as the peanut butter. And that's the divergent boundary. Peel it off, put it to the side. Yeah. It's sticking. <laughs> Doesn't want to come off. Stop. There we go. Oops. Now when we've done that, we're gonna do demo two. We we spread it so it'll be more uh, perfect. More flat. So now this one is the convergent boundary between the oceanic crust and continental crust. So we're gonna grab this one. Place it like, it's not like here again. Right. And then we're gonna grab a graham cracker to represent the continental crust. And again, we have peanut butter as the asthenosphere. So, I go like, so I'm going to push them together, the, ocean, the oceanic crust being more dense than the continental crust, crust will be pushed under the continental crust, so we're going we're gonna to push it together, the ocean is supposed to go under actually, so it's going to, it's going under just like that, and that's the convergent boundary between the oceanic crust and continental crust. You're going to do, be doing demo three. The third demonstration is a convergent boundary between two continental crust. So we're gonna re-spread it. Re-spread the peanut butter. Get a little bit more. Just a little bit. That should be good. And I'll be dipping one gram graham cracker side water to make it a little bit soggy to represent a different land. So we're gonna dip this one. Just gonna dip it. So we're just gonna get about. And we're gonna go just like this. Oh, uh oh, it, uh, too it's too soggy. Luckily, we have a little backup. There we go. So now we have it all soggy and wet. Put it down now, and as I push them together, they will squish just like the real land, and they will fold and bend. Go like just like that. There we go. So as you can see, that's the convergent boundary between two continents across it uh, folded right here. It kind of went like that, and this one just went over. So we're gonna peel it off. Ooh. Now, we are going to put, place two new graham crackers at the edge of the asthenosphere and pushing while sliding. So let's, uh, see. let us re-spread it. Good enough. And 
you're gonna place these two and we're gonna we're gonna place it down here edge to edge it's not it's not that flat so it's like that and we're going to start sliding it we're gonna push together and slide so as you can see where the sliding occurs there's crumbled pieces imagine that those are cities and buildings and that's it for my demonstration of plate interactions yay